Where's probably, your phone? Probably in my bag, or sometimes it vanishes because God just does that to me. The, I'm confused. How are you going to pay your bill with your phone? I'm going to ask people on Facebook to pay my bill. Morgan Wallen. He does, he does do that. Well guys, today is going to be a bit of a doozy. Over the last few weeks, I have been addicted to watching body cam footage here on YouTube, and in my journeys, I have found what might just be the most entertaining 8 minutes on this website. I don't think you're ready. Now, if you're not watching body cam footage from the moment you wake up until the point that the blue light from your iPhone can no longer overpower your brain telling you you have to go to sleep, I don't really know what to tell you. You're doing something wrong. Now, I don't really know what started this addiction, but it's it's getting kind of bad. I'm beginning to memorize the police codes. I think it started with me watching some footage of people street racing and getting caught for it, and then it just snowballed into a genuine problem. But that's not really too important for today. What's important is what this journey has led me to. A video titled, Entitled Woman Orders Meal Expects Facebook Friends to Pay Her Tab. Now, guys, when I say that there will never be a point in this video where you can accurately guess what's going to happen next, I'm not joking. This is the calmest yet most chaotic body cam footage video I have ever seen. And unfortunately, at this point, that statement actually, uh, actually kind of means something. So, but that's enough about my poor media consumption habits. Let's not waste any more time. Let's begin. Please subscribe. On April 4th, 2024, officers responded to a call regarding a woman refusing to pay for her pizza. That's, did we get this figured out? No. Okay. If I need my boyfriend to um, pay my bill. And then, and what happened was my other phone, my phone doesn't have Wi-Fi in there. Let's take this outside. Sorry. Uh, I guess. Yeah. My dad did 44 years in the NYPD. Okay. You can call him. That doesn't matter. It does matter. Okay, so as you can see, it doesn't really take too long for the insanity to begin here. From what I've gathered, this woman is being arrested somewhere in Florida, and the first thing she says is my dad did 44 years with the NYPD. Now look, I don't know every single police department around the country, but I'm pretty sure when you say NYPD, it only refers to one thing. Obviously, this lady is lying about this, so why she would choose to lie about a police department that's across the country from these guys, as if that's going to get her off? I I'm, I'm not really sure. I had money in my account okay. and now Talk I don't. Him. He's in charge here. Okay, I had money in my account and now I don't. Okay. This right. happens to me all the time. My car broke down, you're, you're like, Okay. See it. Officer, you don't understand. You see, when I spend my money for some reason that I can't figure out, it disappears. I love how she's trying to somehow play the victim here. The victim of spending her own money. Yeah, it just disappears when I use my debit card. I can't explain why. Well, you need to pay your bill. I know I'm going to make money if I have my phone to make money. Well, you need to pay your bill now. Okay, you have to take me to jail. Okay. So you're not going to pay your bill? No, I'm going to pay my bill if I have my phone. I Are can't you going to pay your bill it. right now? I'm going to try. Where's your phone? In the bar. Hang on, Probably in my bag, or sometimes it vanishes because God just does that shit to me. Okay, so not only is the money just vanishing out of this lady's bank account, God is personally coming down and pulling a prank on this lady by making her phone disappear sometimes. I wish he would do this to me so I could stop watching all this fucking body cam footage, but seriously, I've never seen such an extreme display of a lack of responsibility in less than one minute. Don't worry though, this is not even going to end up in the top five list of the craziest shit this lady says throughout this video. I'm confused. How are you going to pay your bill with your phone? I'm going to ask people on Facebook to pay my bill. Morgan Wallen. He does He does do that. Well, Correa, we can. Whenever I see obvious scams on social media, I always ask myself, who the hell is falling for this stuff? This video has given me some insight on the answer to that question. If you genuinely believe that Morgan Wallen is out there scouring Facebook for people to send 50 bucks to so they can pay for some pizza, I'm surprised you can operate a vehicle. If you're under the age of 60 and you're falling for a scam like this in 2024, after literal decades of PSAs and warnings about this kind of behavior, there's no hope for yeah. Wait out here for you. Do you have a driver's license? Yes, I do. Where's that? In there. Okay. All right. So you. I had money in my account. Are we gonna pay the bill today? I want to. Not with asking Morgan Wallen. We <laughs> okay. My dad. Uh, your dad means nothing to me. 
to be I, completely honest, he means nothing. I know, NYPD cops hate you guys too. That's fine. I, it doesn't matter that he's NYPD or not. Okay, so since this came up for a second time, I had to do some digging. I looked up this pizza place and I found out this took place in a city in Florida called St. Augustine. It's a city with a population of 15,000, who apparently the NYPD has a long running grudge with. Again, why did she choose NYPD? If you're gonna lie, why not just say Orlando or Jacksonville? I don't get it. If I'm mishearing or if I'm misinterpreting something, please let me know, but I'm pretty sure this lady is saying the New York Police Department hates this relatively small town PD. Your dad is not anywhere. My mom can pay my bill. If we, I went to her house to try to get it. Okay, is your mom willing to come here and pay your bill right now? Yes, if you call her. Okay. If you call her, she's not going to believe me. She thinks I'm a psycho. Hmm. Seems unfounded. She's stealing my kids from me. We can trauma bond all day long, but we're not going to do that. Okay. Is this your vehicle? Yes. Okay. All right. Are you a registered owner of the vehicle? Yes, I am. You don't have anything inside this vehicle to pay your bill. No, I have $7 on it. You can pay my bill. Papa, 315 St. John's. Boyfriends come and pay it for me. He will do that, but I need a phone to do that. I don't understand the thought process here because she had access to her bag and to her phone until the cops showed up. If she really had all these people who were just dying to pay your bills, ex-boyfriends, parents, Morgan Wallen, I mean, why did she not call one of them to begin with? Why do you just keep lying? It's like 50 bucks. Let them take a picture of your ID, then run to your house and grab some money or come back the next day and pay it. I've worked at three different restaurants and that has always been standard procedure. Procedure. This is not worth going to jail over. Larry will pay my bill. Larry? Who's Larry? Larry, my ex-boyfriend. All my ex-boyfriends are friends of mine. They'll pay my bill. They, they have jobs. But I need my phone to work. To call them. And my phone is dead. I can go to my house and charge it. Uh, you guys want to press charge? Uh, she can't pay her bill. I can walk there and leave my car here and my bag here. Okay. You leave your bag here? You stay here often? I'm a squatter. Wait, what? This just keeps getting worse for this lady. I really thought that was just one of those stupid questions cops ask you when they're trying to get more information out of you. Like, yeah, do you live at this pizza place? But no, she turns around and hits him with a, yeah, I'm a squatter. I mean, what? Is there a motel nearby? Am I missing out on some context? What does that even mean? Okay, all right. Where is your residence right now? Right there, 130. Which car did you come here? In, in the red car. And you said you're not going to pay this? No, I am going to pay it tomorrow. Okay, well, that's not going to help me. All right, turn around to get his money back. Really? Yeah. You're failing to pay your bill. I'm not failing to pay my bill. I need my bag so I can make some phone calls. Get your bag. And my pizza and my meal. No, you're not taking that. Hit first. They don't take food in jail. I don't think I will ever be able to understand the mind of some of these people. So let me get this straight. She says she's not refusing to pay her bill, even though, you know, she's refused to pay her bill. And then even after acknowledging that she hasn't paid it yet by saying she needs to call somebody to pay it, she's demanding that the pizza that nobody has paid for yet comes to jail with her. I mean, what? Do you have anything on you that's going to go yes, into the jail? Yes, I have a knife. St. John's. Okay. Okay, so if you couldn't quite catch that, that was her saying she has a knife up her vagina. Now, um, I mean, I guess if we're looking at this objectively, I can't really speak on the efficiency of such a placement, but I'd have to imagine that that is not the best place to store a knife. At least when we're talking in terms of ease of access, when we're looking at concealment, whole different story. This shit happens to me all the time. You all your friends know me. So you said you have a, a knife up your- Yes, I do. You want to come get it? No. I, I didn't think so, to. asshole. I love when people put themselves in these sorts of situations, and then they just start getting mad at everybody around them for anything. Oh, so you're not gonna finger me to get the knife out of my pussy? You're an asshole. You should be ashamed. I thought you served the public. Yeah. 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 Some more yeah. No, well, there's a bunch of here. Did she buy that one from you guys? Well, yes. Oh. She bought well, them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then she brought these? Yeah, those were in there. Yeah. Is there a female deputy that can be 51 to us by chance? She's saying she has a signal zero in a inappropriate place. So let me get this straight. They have a signal for when somebody is armed, but they don't have a signal for the old knife in the pussy trick? Where the fuck are my tax dollars going? Hi, Danielle. Hi, how are you? Should you do? Oh, you look so pretty. Thank you. I was going to my boyfriend's house, but he I didn't you want look to- You so pretty to go to a- Well, I, I was at the pub waiting for him to come get me. 
Real okay. quick. Come on out, Clark. Gonna, you said you got some up there? No, I don't. I was kidding. Oh, okay. Not well, something to joke no, about. I gotta kind of check. I'm really? Not gonna, yeah, I'm not gonna, yeah, I'm not gonna do a whole... Um, I was kidding. Hey, before she does that, let me ask you. I just talked to your mom on the phone, and she said that you didn't pay your bill at some bar last night. No, because this happens to me all the time. Well, if you didn't have money to pay I your bill last night, money. I have money. I have $7.5 million. Okay. All, right. all right. He's, just, he asked, he's asked being an asshole. No, he's asking you a question. This is My wrong. dad did 44 years in the NYPD. I did 20 years in the NYPD. Okay, so... I'm retired. You know that you have presented yourself in what might not be the best way when the most believable thing that you've said the entire video out of I have seven and a half million dollars, I'm a retired police officer, and I have a knife shoved up my vagina is the, uh, is the knife up the vagina. I mean, let's be honest. That's the only thing that I took at face value that this woman said. I mean, I just don't understand the mind of this woman. She's saying that this happens to her all the time, that she's unable to pay her tabs, yet she has seven and a half million dollars. Is the seven and a half million dollars what she's talking about when she says her money keeps disappearing from her bank account? Because if so, I think I might have cracked the case. I think what you're experiencing is called dreaming. Now the rest of this video is just them arguing about how they're gonna do this pad down, and then we're informed that she was charged with defrauding an innkeeper, which I don't know about you guys, but that sounds absolutely hilarious to me. That sounds like a medieval ass charge. Couldn't pay for a pizza, and now you're in the books for something that makes it sound like you stole mead from a guy named Bartholomew. Your life's over. Well, guys, what do you think? Are we all being too quick to judge? Could this lady actually be telling the truth? Could she be a millionaire NYPD retiree with a knife in a place you'd never think to look? I doubt it. This video is bittersweet to me because I think it might honestly be the peak of the mountain. I don't know how much better body cam footage can get after this, so I'm thinking that might help my addiction just a little bit, but uh, I don't know if I'm ready to give it up. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and Walk on over to that subscribe button and touch it. It's free. It won't cost you anything. But for now, that's all I have for you today. Bye.